What's up? Well, I'm not going to say what's up. It's something that I got to get off my chest. It's something I got to explain to some people out there, especially some of the families. First, before I get to the issue, I would like to let the family know that life is bullshit. Okay? Uh, try to keep a good eye on your kids. Because uh, where it look right now, kids is growing up to be bad kids. And people and people won't know why kids act like that. Well, it's, for one, it's not none of their damn business. You got to keep an eye on your kids, and uh, you're gonna have to sit down with your kids, no matter who he is, boy, girl, or whatever. You got to sit down and talk to your kids about life, because the way it look right now, these kids is getting snatched up, and it's 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 fucked up. You know, y'all parents should sit down and get. A good chain of thought before y'all react. You got to listen what your kids talk to you about. You got to listen what your kids say. And uh, it, it's it's a big problem with it because evidently some of your parents don't give a fuck about your kids. Evidently y'all don't because they coming up getting snatched every thirty seconds. You know, and it's and it's it's a damn shame because some of y'all parents keep on saying that. Well, it's not my kid that got snatched up. I ain't worried about it. I ain't going to help my kid. Yeah, we're helping your motherfucking kids. You know, y'all problem is, y'all want to go out. Y'all want to smoke your little blunt. You want to get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? You want to go to clubs, but you're not thinking about one thing. is your babies. Okay, so let me put it to you more simple so you can understand. It's time for y'all to get a fucking life. Start talking to your damn kids, you know, because the way it looks right now, you know, this world's so fucked up that you don't know what the hell the kid gonna do. Okay, now I will tell you this: Saturday evening, when I left my house to go to work, I worked every single day. I got to catch two buses. Okay, for one, I caught the Sixth Street bus. I caught that at five thirty. I got downtown at Market Street exactly 6 o'clock. The 18th Street bus don't come until 6.20. Okay, so I told you that part. Now, here's the part that I'm really fucked up about. When I got off the 6th Street bus, when I walked to my next destination to get on the 18th, it was a little girl there sitting on the bus stop. She was no more than about 13 years old. Okay? A guy walked up and start having a conversation with this little 13 year old. I don't know if she's 13, or I don't know if she's 14, but the way she looked, she looked like she's about 13. She wasn't dressed provocative. She wasn't dressed to uh, uh, let people know nothing. She had her little blue jeans on. She had her little shirt on. She had a little duffel bag. Well, not a duffel bag, but a backpack. Let me rephrase that. She had a backpack. Evidently, she just come from a friend's house or got off from school or whatever. We don't know, okay? And she had her little headphones. Here's what I don't understand. This guy, I know he was up in his in his motherfucking forties. He's gonna walk up and have a conversation with this baby girl. He gonna ask this baby, "Are you homeless? You dumb fuck. Do she look like she's homeless?" Then he gonna ask her, "Where you going? There's not none of your fucking business." Where's she going? Then he, then he gonna ask her, what's her name? It's not none of your fucking business. Now that's the part that I don't understand. You got these fucking pedophiles, these fucking rapists on this fucking street. And by doing nothing about it. Y'all talking, but y'all ain't doing nothing about it. That's fucked up. I mean, that's, that is so fucked up that some people right now that want kids... And they can't get them. And the people who got kids, you throw your kids out full of fucking wars. You got to keep track of your kids of all fucking times. Now, that's not the issue of it. The issue is, I'm sick and tired of seeing these little fucking babies get picked up or get snatched up because, quote, motherfuckers not doing their law right. Start keeping these motherfuckers locked up. These fucking pedophiles, these fucking sex offenders. The little girl...
I give I got to give this little girl her props because she did not pay attention to him. She was scared. I do know it. She was scared. She didn't know what to do. But you know what? When when that little girl looked at me, when that little girl looked at me, and I looked at this little girl, and I told this little baby, it gonna be all right. He's not gonna mess with you. The exact word, he's not gonna mess with you. That's point fucking blank. So, it was like, she didn't know what to do. I made myself actually late from work, so I made sure this baby got on this damn bus. I'm taking the consequences to get fired. Oh well. But I make sure that this little baby got on that damn bus to get home safely. Because this fucking pedophile is still going to be there trying to talk to her. Now, let me put this to you. If I was 15 minutes late from my destination and he's there, who can say? Who can actually fucking say? That this girl would have been there. The parents wouldn't even know where the hell that baby was at. 15 minutes. If I was 15 minutes late, if I was a second late to get to my bus stop to see this little girl sitting up there waiting to catch the 18th Street bus, that girl probably got taken. I'm not sitting here to try to be a hero because I'm not a hero. I'm saying, is this her? If I was a split second late, that little girl would have got snatched up. She wouldn't have seen her next birthday. I'm, I'm not saying that I don't know what this guy would have done. For one, he was drunk. But I don't give him a fucking right to have her sit down there and have a conversation with a fucking 13 year old. He had a conversation with her like she was a grown woman. That's the problem that I have. Okay? Then after she got on the bus, she sat at the front of the bus where everybody could see her. This fucking pervert gonna get back he going to get right on the bus and stand in front of her and stern at this baby. When he got off the bus, he's going to have the audacity to wave at this little baby. What kind of shit is that? I'm like this. I'm not a hero. I'm not here to, pre I'm not here to try to predict what's going to happen. But I'm saying this. She was a 13-year-old baby. And I take offense to that. Now, this little baby girl can actually see her next birthday. See, that's what your parents don't fucking realize. See, shit like that bothers me. At 6, 19, this motherfucker gonna walk up. The bus came at actually 6, 21, 18th in Fern Valley. Now, the problem is, is this her? She was there. With nobody on the fucking street. With nobody downtown. She was there by herself. And this fucking pervert can walk up and have a conversation with this baby. So I so it was two things in my head. What do you think I ought to do? I can put my feet in his ass, or I can wait and see what the fuck he gonna do. Then be either way it goes, he gonna get his ass beat. And when I beat the noodles out of his head, I'm gonna drag his punk ass from market. To the police headquarters, which is Jefferson. But I stand there and make myself late just to make sure that this baby got on that bus and got off safely. Yeah, she's home now. That ain't what I'm saying. Y'all family, y'all not let me let me rephrase that. Your parents got to talk to your kids, man. You got to talk to your kids about life and reality. Talk to those kids about what to expect. Don't just leave the kids hanging and don't talk about them because you want to go out to a motherfucking club or you want to smoke a goddamn blunt and you don't got time for your fucking kids. But with something happening to your kids, then you ready to get on the fucking news. Or you ready to call motherfucking lawyers and cops. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's who you want to, you know, that's who you're ready to call. You know, it's not happening like that. On the way to, on the way to fucking prevent that shit. It's have a little conversation with your kids, a boy or a girl. It doesn't make no difference. A pedophile, they don't have no, uh, uh, they don't have no response about shit. You know, they snatch any and every, no matter what age it is. You know, and I thank God 
that that little girl got on that bus safely. I pray to God that whole fucking ten minutes this motherfucker said anything out of line to her. I was praying that this motherfucker say something out of line to that baby. And I would have beat that mother. I would have beat him so fucking bad that he would have that he would actually became so. She was there by herself. There wasn't nobody else on the bus stop. And like I said, if it was a three second late for me getting off at 6th Street and going to work, that little baby might not have been there. Y'all parents got to realize, y'all got to start waking up, man. I'm not sitting here and criticizing parents. I know we got some good parents out there. But some of your parents that don't give a damn or act like that y'all do and don't, y'all need a reality check. Y'all need one fucking right now. And I mean right now. I don't give a fuck how you take it. I don't care how you like it. I don't give a fuck you leave a fucked up comment. I'm going to say what I have to fucking say. This is my fucking show. If I see something that I don't like, I'm going to put it on my show. And that was fucked up. You had a 13-year-old fucking baby on a fucking bus stop by herself. And she's coming on... I don't know where she's coming from. She had a little backpack. Evidently, she's probably coming from school or a friend's house or whatever. You got a 13-year-old baby right there talking to this motherfucker. Quote me. Let me rephrase that. Let me reverse that back. He was talking to her. This baby didn't give that man no response. None. So, I don't know how would y'all feel about what I'm saying. I don't care how the fuck you feel. I don't care... What kind of answer or whatever you're going to send me back, I don't care. If y'all don't like it, then fine. Real parents, give me a feedback. Let me know what you think. Because I'll be damned, I'm going to sit here and listen to some bullshit comments that come in time, but I should not say that over a pedophile. Fuck a pedophile. Fuck it. They can all fucking die for me. Fuck them. If some of your parents don't like it, then y'all must be some fucking pedophiles. Simple as fucking that. But I know you got some good parents out there, whites and blacks. And I know in y'all heart that y'all understand what the hell I'm talking about. This little girl was very vulnerable. What can a fuck that little baby can do with this motherfucking man? If he would have snatched that little baby up, what the hell can she do? Not a damn thing. So, I took a time out for my life and for my job fucking schedule just to make sure this baby got on the bus and this happened surety like I said I left her at 5.30 got down to fucking Market Street at 6 o'clock this motherfucker didn't pop up until like 6.10 and he having a conversation with this girl at 6.19 then the fucking bus gonna come at 6.21 yeah I know the whole fucking thing if the bitch would have slipped Say anything in line with that little baby or say anything out of the ordinary that I wouldn't like, I swear to you, and this on everything I love, two things can happen. Either I beat the brakes off this motherfucker so bad, or they probably got to put me in jail. Because that's bullshit. That little baby there by herself. And like I said, if it had been a split second, and I mean a split second, that if I didn't show on that bus stop on that time, that little girl probably wouldn't, I probably, I probably wouldn't even see that little girl. That bothers me. You know, so, like I said, parents, keep an eye on your kids. That's all I'm asking you. Keep an eye on your kids. Talk to your kids. Talk to your babies. What to wear, what not to wear. That little girl, when she was on that bus stop, whoever her parents is, they raised that baby right. Because she didn't have a conversation with him. She even brushed him off. She was dressed like a little girl should be dressed. Little jeans, little tennis shoes, her shirt, her little backpack. That's where a little girl should be dressed. And whoever raised that little girl or brought that little girl up, they raised that little girl right. But what I'm saying, a little girl that size wouldn't be able to overpower this drunken motherfucker. I could. I would. I would hurt that motherfucker. I would hurt that motherfucker severely. I would hurt him so bad that his fucking soul would have felt it. Fuck him. Fuck him. He can live it, learn it, love it, and fucking like it. But all I'm got to say is, take care of your kids. And when y'all parents 
see this video, which I hope you do, look at his face. I don't play with no fucking sex offenders. I don't play with no motherfucking pedophiles. I'm a type of motherfucker would do what I have to do to make sure any kid is fucking safe. No matter if it's on the bus, walking up the fucking street, in the motherfucking store. I don't make no, it don't make a bit of difference. If I see one of them motherfuckers fucking with any baby, I promise you, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do it. So I'm going to... What I'm going to do, I'm going to close this chapter out, and I hope every parent see this video and give me a good feedback. I'm out of here. Thank you. And it's over.